this point. We spoke to a witness, our sister station out of Wausau did speak to someone who uh, owns a lawn and garden type uh, business in that area. We're going to listen into the phone call that she had with a reporter near that area. Describe from the beginning, what's the first, how did you first notice it? What did you see? Above my house, we're not far from Cat McCoy, so they do a lot of their practicing above us. And we've always said for 20 years, we hope they never mess up. Well, he messed up. We watched them bank. We thought they were going to come back and shoot each other again. And we heard boom, boom. It must have been the plane hit. And then when the house exploded. What and that big black smoke come flying up, I knew it hit. Was it just one plane or were there multiple? There were two. There were usually two that practice. And it's like one stalled midair and came down. And then it hit a house? It hit a house, exploded it, and the woods was on fire. There's a Black Hawk up there. But there's so many cars, we can't get up and down our road. How far away are you from there? <sighs> Quarter mile, maybe, at the most. Because it drags across the corner from me. Now, as I understand, the pilot, he ejected from the plane? He got out. I guess he's up by a house up towards the prison. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't too far from the prison, right? Is that where... No, oh, well, it's right across from it. They were the first ones that came running. Now, what you were listening in on was a uh, business owner in that area that saw what happened. Her name was Martha Clark. She spoke to our sister station, WAOW in Wausau, about what she saw. And as you heard there, the pilot did manage to eject from the plane. It sounds as though they were doing routine military exercise when something went terribly wrong, as we heard. And then uh, one of those uh, aircraft did did actually crash. We do have another witness that uh, is either in the area, lives in the area, or works in the area. His name is Josh. Josh Pozdolski. I actually have a resort spot in the Woods Lodging. All right. Can you tell us uh, what happened in that area or what you saw? Yeah, I was in uh, my house out here, and I heard a large, uh, loud explosion, and I uh, went out and I saw a jet, a uh, fighter jet, flying in a circular formation. And apparently over the crash site, there was a large uh, flag plume of smoke. And uh, shortly after that, I saw a truck go by, a military truck. And then the chopper went overhead and uh, basically landed. And, and I, I imagine was uh, assisting the, uh, the, the victims or crash site. All right. We hear from another uh, business owner in that area who says that she saw two planes at the time and just one of them went down. Um, is this yeah, a regular he, occurrence in that area that you see exercises, mid-air yeah, exercises? He, they usually do uh, exercises right overhead of my property here, and it was way out of character. I'm, I'm used to hearing sonic booms. This was much louder than a sonic boom. That was an actual explosion that I heard. All right, and from what, from where you're at, can you just give us kind of a perspective as to what the land and the landscape is like there? Is it wooded? Is it open? Yeah. Is it fields? It's, it's heavily, uh, heavily wooded uh, pine forest, and there are some open fields. Uh, from what I'm getting, the uh, pilot actually ejected out of the plane and he has landed or he was about a mile and a half from the crash site to the west. Oh. And, and we then just... uh, some kind of a munition come off the jet and hit a uh, business about 10 miles from here. Do you know what that uh, business is by chance? Yeah, it's the Chateau Restaurant. Uh, they actually, uh, it sounds like a, a fuel tank got hit out there or something. And like uh, some, something that come off the jet. And do we know exactly what kind of damage has happened to the Chateau Restaurant? Uh, I'm, I'm understanding the fuel tank got hit there. That's all I'm getting right now. And they actually are doing a door-to-door -door evacuation in the area. They're telling us that there was uh, chemical and nuclear warheads on the jet. Oh, okay. And then what have they told you about that as far as how what your distance is supposed to be or anything yeah, of that nature? They're, they're, they're telling us a mile and a half. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're basically doing a, a perimeter evacuation protocol uh, evacuation. All right. Going back to the Chateau restaurant, do you know if it was operating at the time, or is it a type of a resort where or a restaurant that actually closes down during the day and only does dinner? No, I believe that they were probably open for business at the time. Right. That heard? would have been, they're just off of 82 and 39. Uh, that's basically where that intersection is there. It's about 10 miles from the actual crash site. It's uh, where some kind of a munition come off the uh, jet itself and hit the fuel tank there. All right. How long have you been in that area, and have you seen anything of this nature before ever? No. I've been out here. Uh, I mean, I've got my lodging business out here about five, six years now, and I've, I've seen them do a lot of routine uh, you know, practice exercises overhead, you know, that's pretty typical. But uh, today was uh, far from far from ordinary. 
Now, did you see what happened, or did you hear it and then realize I something it, something I went, went wrong? Out, yeah, I, I heard it, and I immediately went outside, and I saw the, the large uh, plume of black smoke, which was an obvious sign that something went horribly wrong. All right, Josh, thank you for joining us, and uh, we appreciate your time. Josh, witnessed this whole crash go down, uh, as we said, uh, aircraft that took off from Volk Field crashed near New Chester, which is all in Adams uh, County.